So for this video, we're just going to look at how to send out uh, different CC messages through MIDI. And this is through MIDI out. So right now I have MIDI channel 3 sent to my Roland System 1 synth. And if you look in the MIDI implementation chart of your external synth, it should show you all of the different values and what they represent. So all you have to do is choose which set you want to uh, save the MIDI CC on which knob. Um, so I'm just going to start here. It doesn't have to coincide with the words that are on the buttons. Uh, that's just for the internal synth. Uh, so all you do is hold down the knob and I have looked this up. I'm going to set this to CC3. That's to change the cutoff on the system one. So I'm going to play. And there's the cutoff. And now this, I want that to be resonance, which is CC9 on the system one. Uh, and now what you can do is program a pattern in. You can press record and record changes, as you can see. Let's say I don't want those anymore. Hold down shift, push down the knob, it'll delete the automation. So from here, uh, let's say we want this one to be on a different level of cutoff as the others. So you just hold down the note and turn the knob and it will play it accordingly. Now let's say we want to clear all that. Let's say we want a, a drone note and then we want and we want the drone note to change during it. So here's a little trick. Just turn off any note you're not going to be using. Press play. And then here just add different notes with the different values you want. I'm also going to change the resonance on some of these. So uh, then all you do is turn off those notes and then unmute. Now I did want to mention, as of now, this firmware, you can't um, save the um, CC values, okay? If you wanted to, you can save, you can set up, let's say, a template. If you have like one or two cents, you can easily set up a template and then uh, set all the CC values and then save it. And then you can use that and lo reload that every time. I, however, don't work in that way. so. Hopefully in uh, future releases, there will be, you know, different options for saving your CC values.